How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Handle Cars YouTube channel. And recently, some of you may already seen, I kind of decided to start uh, featuring uh, my viewers' cars that are under construction. So and the first one is going to be uh, 1965 Oldsmobile Cutlass. And it's under construction by the Chris. So, uh, he actually got inspired by the video that was uploaded on this channel around two and a half years ago and it was 1965 automobile cutlass uh, and built by Philip McKee and he actually left a comment that he kind of felt uh, sad that his one was kind of rusty but two and a half years already passed and he's in the progress of restoring his granddad's uh, 1965 automobile cutlass and here you are the video of the presentation that how far he is and what he already done with this car so sit back grab the popcorn and enjoy guys how you doing my name is Trace I'm over in Rhode Island in the US and this is my 1965 Oldsmobile Cutlass got a 330 small block in it we just patched all the floors put a new floor pan in it it was all rotted out you can see where we cut it all patched it all currently doing a little more rust repair got it over here gotta do that then we can get one tree on that the car sat for 30 years in the dirt in the yard and I just put a trunk pan in it as well. Still have a little more stuff to do on that side. You can see daylight. There's the trunk pan. Needs a rear window too and some rot fix over here too. Had a flaky quarter, so I sanded it all down. It's just some spray paint on there for now, but better off than it was. Car has a rat's nest for wiring. I don't know how good you'll be able to see, but it's two speed automatic. Power glide jet away. The motor was done in 89 and sat, but it only had about 5,000 miles on it. It's running like a top right, right now. Ended up finding water in it. Pulled the heads off, cleaned them all up. And then, yeah, I just cleaned it all up. Cleaned everything up, put a little mystery oil on it, let it soak. And she fired up, she's running good. Just got the fenders back on. Got my inner fenders on, got my gas tank, my battery. Still got to do a little more work in this corner. I just put an exhaust, or somewhat of an exhaust on. See if you guys can see. It's got cherry bombs. I made some turn downs, down pipes. Got cherry bombs, and then it meets into one over on the passenger side but got some bumpers for it just pulled them out of my attic and this was my grandfather's car originally he bought it in 84 like I said sat in the yard for about 30 years after he hit a telephone pole in 1994 something like that the car ended up sitting but here it is. Not a bad little car. So I hope you enjoyed this video presentation and I have one favor to ask. Can you please subscribe to Chris's uh, YouTube channel? Turn on bell notifications to get updates about his 1965 Cutlass uh, progress. And he has an uh, Instagram account as well. So please follow him on Instagram. Link's gonna be down below this video. If you have some suggestions or maybe you have some parts 
that you can help him out, just message him on Instagram or YouTube. So that will definitely help him a lot. And yeah, hope soon we're gonna see this car in some local car shows or even in a SEMA, who knows? But yeah, guys, if you want your car to be featured on my channel, so just send me a message to email address uh, handlecars at hotmail.com or DM me on Instagram or even write down comment under this video or the previous video that I made about announcing this new type of content. So yeah guys, uh, stay positive, keep on building awesome cars and see you probably soon in the next video.